Hey Blue Jays fans, today I bring you some news, specifically about Kikuchi, Guerrero and Barger, before we start, please consider subscribing to the channel as it helps us a lot, well, let's get started. Kikuhi, Guerrero and Barger give Blue Jays hot start in Grapefruit League opener the perspective not overshadowed by the excitement of baseball's return, then, is essential, as the Toronto Blue Jays are far from, say, declaring UCI Kikuchi fixed because he produced 14 puffs on 33 pitches during a 9-7 victory over Pittsburgh Pirates on Saturday in the Grapefruit League opener. They're also not ruling out lineup starter Zach Thompson because he walked three batters and yielded a grand slam to Rodolfo Castro. Or proclaim Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Santiago Espinal or prospect Addison Barger ready to rock after each went deep. The showing list is simply a long road of incremental earnings designed to get everyone ready for opening day on March 30th. My timing looks good, said Guerrero, speaking through interpreter Hector Lebron, of what he reads about smashing a medium into David Bednar's slider. A 432-foot projection at 180.7 miles per hour. But those are my first spring training hits. It doesn't mean anything. When I see that swing from today on a consistent basis, I'll say I'm done. The same goes for adjusting the field clock, the ban on innings and bigger bases, although the Blue Jays gladly welcome the smooth entry into the game's new era. Guerrero, for example, sped up his approach to the plate to buy himself more time to set up once in the box, while between pitches, what I did was just go with the pitcher. If I see that he is ready, then I get faster, I prepare myself faster. Kikuchi, for whom every positive is important after a tough 2022 saw him tweak his pitching movement during the offseason, felt that the pitch clock really helped him with the rhythm. I don't have to think too much about mechanics and everything else, he added, through interpreter Kido Abino. Simplifies everything. Kikuchi's changes were aimed at putting him in the strike zone more consistently and he did so consistently over his two innings. He threw mostly break balls, 17 of them with 7 errors and 3 fouls. And that allowed him to get around a fastball that hit the zone just twice on 8 shots. When he found he had a good feel for both the cutter and the slider, he just kind of ran with it, said Blue Jays manager John Schneider. Being in the zone with his low speed and having two different speeds with those two pitches, even if he misses with the warmer, I think he's going to play more, prospect Addison Barger is working to accelerate his schedule. The left-handed infielder, who will also have some outfield replays this spring. Lit Bedner as well, turning on a 95.5 mph heater and sending him 382 feet at 105.4 mph. He pulled that fastball a little bit, so it had a little cut, which is what I worked all year, to get that pitch in the air, and I executed it perfectly, Barger said. It's about trusting my hands, so staying glued, to the body. So instead of seeing the field and it passing through your hands, hold them tight all the time and then trust them. Barger immediately turns heads for a variety of reasons, walking around in that tight t-shirt, Schneider quipped in reference to his impressive build, and all-star assisted home runs. But for players like him, or right-handed forward Winton Bernard, who had two hits and a run scored, results aren't the only thing that matters in moving up the depth chart. Performance to an extent, but it's more their overall game, Schneider said. If you're in that category of competing for one-point depth, it's not just, okay, how were your hits, it's more, what were you like at the grassroots? Were you efficient defensively? Your overall game comes into play. At first the hitting will be tough, we understand that. But what does his overall game bring and how can that help us win? Hey what did you think? Comment here, have a good night.